we will continue this uh, remaining point in the next video hi friends welcome to our channel so this is the complete database backup okay so now we will move to the next uh, types of backup which is the delta backup so in delta backup in delta backup there is a two types of backup we have that is a differential backup and the incremental backup differential backup means what uh, after the complete backup whatever changes whatever changes those are done in the database that changes get backed up I will just draw one diagram for the better understanding of the backup so this is a HANA database guys I am not expert in the drawing so please uh, you know try to understand me uh, so this is the system DB and this is a HDB which is the tenant database so now first we saw that we have taken the backup which is the you know complete backup okay and for example I I taken this backup in the night of business hour 10 p.m. okay so I taken the backup at this 10 p.m. so once I perform this backup so this backup we know that it you know take the backup of whole data entire data which is available so uh, then we can take the you know next backup we can take that is the differential backup okay this backup so next backup we might take the timeline that is the differential backup at the we can say 4 a.m. in the morning okay and once the differential backup is like uh, so this is the differential backup so once the complete backup is taken then we take the differential backup so in case of uh, restore of the HANA database we take one example so here the host so that host stopped working okay and the timing is we can say 9 a.m. in the morning okay so now the scenarios comes that like we have this scenario the hardware stopped working now we have to recover the database again we will use the this complete backup first which will take uh, our database up to the 10 p.m. of the last uh, last night then we have to restore the this backup then we have to restore the logs you know the third one that is the all logs log backup okay so till the 9 a.m. when the database uh, stopped working so by this way we can you know uh, uh, we can take our database to that point where it stopped working so that's the reason uh, this you know these backups uh, actually are important uh, to avoid the loss of data so that's the reason we take the backup okay so we will come to the point the next point that is the you know the difference uh, we saw the differential backup now we will see the incremental backup so incremental backup basically you know we can take uh, after the uh, full backup that is a complete database backup or from after the differential backup okay because if I not taken this this backup for example if I not taken we will draw one more diagram so for example we will just try to make it clear so this is our database and if here I taken the uh, incremental backup okay I have taken the incremental backup then if I have the logs and then the again here the logs or the 
differential backup okay but what do you think will it help uh, us to recover the database no the answer is no because you know incremental backup and the differential backup what exactly they do they only capture the changes those are done after taking the complete database backup okay so if the differential backup is completed uh, as we saw here in the first year if the once the differential backup is completed at a 4 a.m. okay so after 4 a.m. after 4 a.m. if there is any changes that changes will get captured into incremental backup here yeah, that changes will get captured into the incremental backup at 8 a, uh, 9 a.m. in the morning so basically if there is no changes if there is a no changes in the database after the differential backup incremental backup will not take any backup because there is there means no changes done in the database so it also helps to save the times so there are few you know point I noted about this uh, delta backup basically we can say okay so the first point is it reduces the amount of data means when we take the backup full backup we can say now our size of the database is 1 TB okay when it get backed up obviously the size will be the lesser one as compared to the for example we will take the 700 GB okay this is I'm approximately I'm seeing that this is not exact you know encryption uh, sizing so 700 GB so and here if uh, the, the whatever changes for example the, the, in this gap in this gap the change changes those are made in the database okay that changes will get captured in the differential backup delta backup so here might be we can say 50 GB okay and here might if there is no changes then it might be 5 GB or if no 5 GB if few changes it will be the 5 GB and if there is no changes then it will be the 0 GB means backup won't like it will not uh, you know increase the database uh, the data bad data size so imagine it if uh, at this all point if I took the complete database backup so each and every time it will store the 700 GB at the storage so the 700 700 and 700 okay so obviously the it more size is required uh, for the for storing the backups so for that reason uh, uh, the first point is that that it helps to reduce the amount of data it means it helps to reduce the backup size so that is the first one and second one is the fast to create obviously as there you know less changes are there so in backup the you know the object or the data which get going to get right is lesser one and so that's the reason the timing which required will be the lesser one so that's the reason it's a faster than the complete database backup the uh, third one is faster database recovery why the reason is the same because for example if we are not taking this backup here if we not taken this backup instead of taking this backup okay we will try to make one more diagram for this how it will you know help us so here so here we taken the complete database backup and if I not taking the incremental backup so what will happen only log backups okay log log backups will be there for the recovering the database at the respective time so when we restore or recover the uh, you know database from the uh, from the complete database backup and the log backup what will happen once 
database come to this point at a 10 pm then it will start you know recovering the data from the logs but obviously in the logs there is a all I mean there will there is a committed as well as uncommitted some changes those are successfully completed some are not completed okay so uh, it required you know uh, uh, analysis of that uh, or the verification of that log then only then only that log get applied on the database so the timing will be more uh, for the you know reaching to the point of the 9 or the uh, point of the 9 a.m. where the database crash so because if in the other another way if uh, here we have complete backup differential backup and the incremental backup so only three backups we have to restore to reach to the 9 a.m. but in case of log backup so here this is not only the sorry uh, I never clear this point so this is not only one log backup or two uh, sorry two log ba two log backups are there for the recovery as we know that for the backup there is the frequency that is the default is 15 minutes so uh, as per the uh, company uh, policy or you know the kind of transactional processing happening in the database uh, if uh, the transactional processing rate is higher the definitely the log backup frequency uh, should be like you know 5 minutes or the 10 minutes so we can imagine from the 10 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning if we took the 5 minutes frequency so there will be nearly more than 100 you know log backup files will be there and so all that backup log backup files supposed to get you know uh, uh, log relay on the data apply on the database then only database will reach to this point where the database was crashed instead of that if we use the incremental and differential backup definitely it takes the lesser time for the recovery okay so th that's the reason this is this point is there the fastest database recovery okay similarly as uh, similarly the less CPU utilization for the database recovery when we use the uh, differential backup incremental backup why because the, the, there is only two files that we have to you know restore uh, restore to reach to that particular point whereas as I said as I said in the uh, log backup there are you know, more than hundreds of the file those are uh, need to apply on the database to reach to that point so definitely more files then more parallel processing then more CPU means higher the CPU, CPU utilization will be the higher one so that's the reason uh, you know the less CPU utilization less CPU utilization for the database recovery so uh, thank you for watching this video we will continue this uh, remaining point in the next video I hope you like this video if you like please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and you know stay safe stay home thank you Bye.